Hello, this is Golden Hog, and uh, this is going to be a tour of my um, first Minecraft world. Okay, this is the first house that I built. As you can see, I put in a nice floor here. I've got a lot of chests, but I really need to get out of this area because there's corruption. And it slows down the game, and it crashes. So I can't really play on this uh, world anymore. Because it's highly unstable. As you can see, I made some pixel art. This was all done uh, legit, as they say. I spent a lot of time collecting wool and dyeing it. Uh, this is uh, from Dr. Mario. These are the um, germs, or whatever. <laughs> the viruses. There's a shy guy over here. If it'll load, that's General Leo and Mog from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, pretty cool. We've got a Snippet and a uh, Fanto. Over here I made a Fry Guy, but he's not loading. Oh, these are all characters from Super Mario Bros. 2, obviously. There's a Ostro Gogo. Gogo's right next to Ostro. Fry Guy's floating up there, just chilling. Strange for a fire being to chill, but that's what he does, you know? Because he, he looks like he's wearing shades, like he's a real cool cat. This uh, world was made in Minecraft Beta, so uh, there were no, you know, different colored grasses or anything. This just changed in the recent versions. It's gone through a lot. Uh, there's a Met and there's Sniper Joe from Mega Man 2, I think. You know, I just like to make pixel art of... Uh, sprites that I like. Oh, you can see into my, um, oh wait, no, that's a chunk error, I think. I'm afraid to walk into that. Oh, no, it was just a, uh, glitch, whatever. So, oh, there's a, uh, bomb and a nin ninji, ninjai, I don't know. This is my, uh, transportation system. Now my favorite pixel art that I made is over here, but it won't load. Let's get over here. Check it out. You know, these new versions of Minecraft, the loading is weird. It doesn't load quick enough, in my opinion. That's Ultros. Pretty cool, huh? Um... <laughs> big. Got a reed area here. I planted reeds all along my uh, the waterfront. There's jack-o'-lanterns down there under the water because I was trying to find squids a long time ago. Squid. This is a chunk error that appeared a while ago and I just carved it out and sort of made a little fortress out of it. Chunk error. Hopefully the game doesn't crash here. Oh, bubble bat. Yeah. See, I just made some ramparts and stuff. I should really get out of here. I'm afraid uh, the game's going to crash. What else? Maybe I should go back in my house and show you what's in my chests. That sounds really exciting, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, wait, there's something out here I'd like to show you. I, um... This area here used to be all underwater, but I removed the water with, uh, sand... with gravel. I dropped gravel and then I dug it out. And that took uh, took away all of the uh, water blocks. And there's like grass, and I planted some trees down here. Uh oh, getting some serious lag.
Yeah, so, um, oh, that's my nether portal. I put it out here because it used to be inside the, uh, the uh, base that I built, the house, but, uh, it was too noisy. Uh-oh. Where am I? This isn't good. I don't know what causes this lag, but it's a real shame because I really miss this map. I miss playing on it. I wanted to add more impressive stuff, but you know. That's just the way things go. You're not supposed to get attached to uh, Minecraft worlds, like Notch said. Well, he said that a long time ago. Try not to get attached to your saves. Okay. No more lag. Wow. Look at all these torches. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? I think I need to eat. I'll have some bread. Now this train track that I built goes uh, to my arctic base. So let's check that out, eh? Ah! I missed the minecart. Hmm. This isn't working quite as well as I thought it would. All right. Am I going the right way? No, no, wait. This isn't right. Oh, this is something cool. Check this out. Yeah, oh, this used to be all um, water, but I added dirt blocks to uh, make this huge field so I could make my pixel art. Yeah, it took a long time. Just like most of the rest of this stuff. Like, I was really into Minecraft, into this world for like a, a good few months. All this has been flattened out. There were hills and stuff that I just flattened. I dug them all down. Leveled everything. Oh, see, this tower here that's loading. That's one of the first structures I built. Now this is something that took a really long time. This is my... <laughs> I was trying to build this enormous pixel image, so I needed room before the height limit was raised. So I had to dig down to bedrock level so that I would have enough, um, you know, large enough canvas for my image. And I don't know exactly how how large this area is, but it's it's pretty big. I used a lot of TNT. I <laughs> I don't know how much TNT it was. It was stacks upon stacks of TNT. And if you can see up there, there's some scaffolding. And I was trying to work on this image, but I didn't get very far at all because I was just having so many problems with this world. And it's a shame, isn't it? You know? This was supposed to be my masterpiece. Maybe I'll try something like this again someday. Here's an arch I made that's kind of cool, I guess. This is the little shack that I built um, for the supplies for my project here. If it'll open. Oh no. So much lag. See in here I've got dirt. I don't know why I have that. Hey, diamonds. 
this is the wool. I have a lot of black wool. You need black wool for pixel art because of all the black borders for everything. You know, and that's that's not interesting. Oh, there's a cactus here for uh, when I was digging out the pit. I had so much extra cobble that I uh, I would just throw the co stacks of cobble into the cactus to get rid of them because I was tired of you know lugging that stuff around. You know, I mean, I didn't want to keep building chests to put it in, and it was just a hassle. Although I do have a huge amount of cobble back in my um, underground area in my base back there. Here's some stuff I built. I built these arches. I, I That was another way I would get rid of cobble. I would just... I got so bored building this, you know, I mean, digging this out. It took so long that, you know, I would get kind of bored and I would decide to start building stuff. Oh no. Come back! Ugh. Keep missing the boat. Alright, let's go. That's an arch. It's... It doesn't just end there. It's supposed to have another column, but... Uh, it's not there for some reason. So check it out. Here we go. Uh, going to the uh, extra biome. This is a. Uh, this leads toward a um, an Arctic area. And this was when these biomes were first introduced. So it was really uh, new to me at the time to see all the snow. So, you know, this goes up toward, uh, over some mountains here. And then there's like a taiga biome. And that's where I built my base. And it should be right over here. Yeah. Click. All right. And as you can see, I built it with a um, lip, so spiders couldn't get, all, get in, although they couldn't anyway because I put so many torches around that they didn't even have a, an opportunity to spawn. I just, I get crazy with the torches, you know what I mean? And uh, this is a pretty um, modest base compared to my uh, main one. There's just, you know, the bare essentials, basically. And I'm not going to go down into the mines because that's that would be boring that I'm bored just thinking about going underground. I, there's nothing really too great down there. Um, so that's it for this video. I think I might make another one uh, if anyone wants to see any more. Uh, so that's it. Um, see you around.